Hello everyone and welcome to Live, Thrive, Build. Today I'm going to be showing you our 2018 Ford Transit 350 XLT 148 inch wheelbase. This is the 15 passenger van and we've taken out most all of our seats and I'll take you inside in a second. But this is our setup. We built this van with keeping in mind that we're only going to do this trip for about a few months and we used to use this van primarily for uh, our vintage furniture business called revision furniture and so we'd use the back part of the van a lot to uh, you know haul furniture around and then our three ch children would ride up in our bench seat so we took out the bench seat and utilized the space well so we're excited to show you guys this build this is a great solution that's why we're calling this the temporary van build out for anyone who's wanting to do something you know that works really well for a long trip without having to tear the whole van apart you know beyond uh return so to speak so if we wanted to sell this van down the road i only put eight bolts into the sidewalls i did not remove any kind of paneling or anything inside so everything's stock other than literally changing out the tires and uh, modifying the inside so uh, let's take a look. Here's our entryway. And I started out with uh, two sheets of maple uh, plywood. And then we refinished that with our favorite uh, all natural zero VOC oil. So it'll be nice and durable. Uh, for us while we're on the road and we'll go ahead and come inside a little bit now height wise this is the medium roof height version you know in hindsight it'd been cool to have the high roof but uh, you know again we originally got this um, I'll go ahead and tell you we got this van for around thirty thousand dollars with nine thousand miles on it we bought it in 2019, so it was only a year old. We were able to get it for, I think, a pretty dang good deal, especially nowadays uh, in 2022. Um, this is a really sweet setup to have, you know, for 33 or $34,000 total investment. And we're gonna go, you know, live on the road for a few months. Uh, anyways, so back to our setup. I built out this little kitchen area, bought this little unit here from Lowe's as a good starting point since it already had the doors and hinges and everything on it. So we have some utensils, pots and pans, a little bit of storage. I built this little countertop. Everything around this is all custom technically. Uh, and again, I just used scraps I had from the maple uh, plywood. Finished it all in the Rubio Monaco oil. So then my wife got these cool uh, larger jars uh, down here that I measured when I built this out. And then of course got some mason jars, the larger ones up top, uh, which are great for all of our kind of everyday needs and some more storage type foods. <clears throat> right here we have our 26 gallon stainless steel vessel. This holds all of our spring water when we're on the road uh, traveling, you know, from mountain to mountain, state to state. Up above, got a little basket there for some snacks, chips, whatnot. But then down below, I made sure I built this so that there was room for our little toilet. And then I have a shelf even up under there for the toiletries and stuff. So down here, uh, we decided on a cooler before I built all this so that it'd fit nice and snug and just have that little leather strap holding it in. Then when we need to access it, just slide it out. So we kind of want a little area of breathing room, so to speak. And then also if our youngest child isn't doing well sleeping with us in the lower bunk or upper bunk with the, our oldest two, um, we thought we could roll out his kind of little sleep, sleep mattress down here to sleep at night. So that's why we left this little more open compared to the rest of the van. So talking about maximizing space and stuff and also just having a place for everything, uh, my wife put this cool little bag here that's held in place with the strap so we can put our shoes and stuff. 
So up top we have these uh, this string of lights and it's battery powered. There's just a button on the back, super easy. So it's nice to have a little ambient lighting in here. Uh, right here, this little arm swinging down is for our little iPad. So up here, my wife came up with this cool idea to do these baskets for each of our kids' storage. It's super easy to lift out and remove to access them or whatnot. And then I built this little, uh, you know, front kind of wall here to create a lip so that this doesn't go flying when we slam the brakes. And then over here on the side, we have a few more cubbies for more clothing and hats, stuff like that. Then we hung this little linen panel here. You just undo these ties and it lets the panel drop down. So this panel provides nice privacy. After you know the children have gone to bed, we might still be up reading a book or watching a movie or something. And then this you know blocks the light out really well, so we can have some some uh, little bit of lighting under there without keeping all the children up. So our storage area down here, um, we have baskets and then also some bins uh, that hold our clothes and you know a lot of our stuff. This is six feet long storage under here, which you know runs the entire length of the bed. And then this side technically is the walking path for when we're in travel mode. But when we're going into travel mode, uh, I have hinges halfway down the bed, so this flips up. Another cool thing that my wife got were these uh, seat back pockets. And then what's cool, since we have a passenger van, we have stuff like those cup holders already in place uh, for these side seats and even where our bed is. So what do you like to do back here while we're traveling? I mostly like playing with Legos. I also like coloring. That's a really calming thing to do. Sometimes on the really big bumps, it can like get down and I like it's nice pockets here. You can put more stuff here. I have a little nature book. Now that I'm really into it, I love it. So what do you like to do back here? Um, what I like to do when I'm like bored on the road and if we're going on a long trip, like color when I'm bored. Oh, my mom gave me this because it's nice. When it's nighttime, I kind of like to put this on and I have a lock in case my little brother gets into it. I have my backpack. It doesn't really have toys in it anymore. I just have a lot of emergency stuff just in case in here. What do you like to do back here? Down there. Toys are down there. Uh, lay down here. Yeah, you lay down up there. Nice. Yeah, but bed. No. Do you want to talk nice. about your seat and your Legos? Yeah, go mm -hmm. in the uh, the whole front area is totally stock. It didn't do anything up here. You a little bit of storage up front. Now let's talk about these wheels for a second. I really have enjoyed these. I put these on about a thousand miles ago. These are Falcon 225-75-16s. These are the Wild Peak uh, all-terrain tires. AT3W is model names. And these cost about right around $200 per tire. Um, so the spare we have is just still our original stock spare tire. But these should do really well on our adventure kind of around the US. So if you have a two-wheel drive, you know, transit van, uh, and you're a little concerned about getting, you know, stuck in some places, don't forget, you know, tires do make a huge difference you know, it's way cheaper than having to buy, you know, a new van with uh, all wheel drive or something like that. As much as I'd love to have that, you know, we already had this van for our furniture business and we drive it a ton on the highways and stuff like that. So uh, this is just a temporary, you know, setup for us to travel for a few months. So to be able to swap out the tires, get way better, uh, you know, traction, and handle some other inclement weather and different scenarios much better. Totally worth it to me to, you know, put a thousand bucks out on some tires for this trip. Now let's talk about the back of the van a little bit. My dad had this rack. I decided to paint it black to match everything else. 
Sorry, Dad, I'll paint it back red if you need me to. We have these two 64 gallon totes here on the back. These bins hold, you know, a lot of our extra goods, towels, camping gear, stuff like that. If it got stolen, it would suck, but we'd be fine. It's not absolute necessities in there. You know, even some of my like main tools and stuff, all of that's gonna stay in the van. Uh, so if we ever got stranded, need to change tire, all those kind of uh, scenarios, you know, I have everything I need. But anyway, so a really, really important note about this setup here on the back, uh, with having such a large rack, uh, I was concerned about, you know, it hitting, going up certain incline changes and stuff like that. Uh, and I'll be mindful of that as we drive, but still I wanted some better clearance than what was stock. So this hitch adapter here, I got at Northern Tool for $75. And I think this is a great buy to give you about six inches extra height. And then <clears throat> this allowed us to put the bigger cargo rack on here, which then allowed us to fit two of these larger bins. Now, as with a lot of things in life, it depends on what your goals are. For us, we weren't concerned about the fact that this added more length out. We're not planning on parking in the cities a ton or anything like that. We're gonna be out in nature a lot, so I don't mind our rear end sticking out a little bit more. Also, what's cool about this is it ended up being basically perfect uh, amount of room for the door to clear, which was awesome. You know, having this height extension, I thought we weren't gonna be able to open the doors at all, but it just, misses and allows us to open it all the way to about right there and then same thing for the other door we were able to do this whole van build out for you know under two thousand dollars and that's including the new tires uh which were about a thousand dollars for all four after tax and all that so the inside of the van you know wood hardware the water vessel cooler all those kind of things was under a thousand dollars. The only thing not included was our mattresses, which came from the beds in our house. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and like and comment on our video. Uh, we're gonna be doing future videos with more detailed process of our van build out, as well as talking about natural living, growing food, and also <laughs> building infrastructure in our upcoming uh, property and homestead in the future. You can subscribe by clicking on our logo that should pop up right here. Until next time, keep living, thriving, and building.